What's up YouTube, Mike here from TechnoGI and today I just wanted to do a quick review of the Microsoft Wireless Display Adapter version 2. Obviously not to be confused with version 1, but if you're not familiar with this device, it's simply just a little USB device that will plug into any television as long as you have a HDMI port and a USB port. Now the USB port is nothing more than um, I guess the power supply so this is actually what powers the device and then of course this is what transfers the signal to your television so this is a uh, mirror cast device which is essentially kind of a form of Bluetooth but this will work with any mirror cast enabled device so obviously the surface is one I also connected my uh, my phone to this I have a Samsung Galaxy S7 and was able to mirror my phone to my television so this works well. Um, if you're familiar with my channel, you know I've done a review on version one of this, which I'll throw a YouTube card either up here or up here. But if you want to watch that one and you're interested in the version one, you can watch that review. <clears throat> but this retails for the same price as the first one did, which was $59 um, out of the gate. But this is actually on Amazon right now for $47.95. So if you're looking to get this uh, for a discount, you can get it for $47 on Amazon. Or if you want to go to Best Buy, it's $59 at Best Buy, I believe. Um, I happened to buy this at Best Buy before it went on sale. Uh, I've actually had this now for about a month and been playing with it. And I will tell you that this is a huge improvement over the first version. Um, if you, again, are familiar with my channel, um, I reviewed the first one twice. The first time I reviewed it, um, I think I had a bad unit. It was just really wasn't working, and I gave it a very scathing review. But then I returned that one and then bought a second one and did a review on it, and it worked um, as advertised. Um, however, this one so far out of the box has been excellent. Um, the first test I did with this is I streamed a full HD 1080p movie from my Surface Pro 4 to my television and it worked like a champ. It stuttered, I think maybe twice for like a fraction of a second. It just kind of, you know, stuttered for a second. And that was for a two hour movie. It did it twice for about, you know, a fraction of a second. So pretty darn good, not a big deal at all. So I think this is way more reliable than the first generation was. I would feel a lot more confident carrying this with me if I had to do a presentation you know, and you just hook this up to a TV and mirror your Surface or any mirror cast device to it. So, like I said, it works well. It's very compact. In version 2, they now included this little carrying slot here. And this is just nothing more to, than to put the two ends together. And it allows you to kind of carry it, put it in your pocket, backpack, whatever. <clears throat> and like I mentioned, this is mirror cast. So... This will work with any device as long as it's mirror cast enabled. So before you start blowing up the comments asking me, hey, I've got this device, will it work? Just check your manufacturer's website or the box instructions that came with whatever device you're talking about. And as long as it says mirror cast, this theoretically will work. So like I said, I've only tried it with my Surface, which worked like a champ, and with my Samsung Galaxy S7, and it worked like it should. So... Having said all that, I'm going to hook this up and just give you a quick demo. All right, I apologize. The sound is probably not going to be as good for this one just because it's kind of a difficult spot to record. But uh, I was trying to think of the best way to show you this, but obviously I got my TV here. I hooked it up. I connected it. And it's kind of implied if you have a TV and it does not have a USB port, then obviously you will not be able to power this and or use it unless you can come up with some kind of ad hoc solution like an external battery pack, which is maybe an option. But on this television, I've got a USB port and I've obviously got an HDMI and they're right beside each other, so it works like it should. But um, connecting this is super easy. I'll just show you. If you've got Windows 10, you'll swipe in from the right to the left. And then where it says connect, you'll click connect. And obviously I've already got it connected, um, but it shows up right there. So obviously if I want to connect or disconnect, it's right there. And it also gives me the option if I want to change my um, 
projection mode. So there's two ways you can do it. You can go to here, you can hit project, and this brings up this display. So if you want to duplicate this, obviously that's what I have it now. You can extend it, disconnect, or second screen only. So whatever your personal preference is, you can do it. But as you can see, I've got these bars on the side of my TV, and that's just something with my television with the aspect ratio. You can tweak that uh, within the settings and also on your TV itself. Like on my television, I can do, uh, I can make it wide or whatever. But you're going to have these bars unless you tweak it and adjust it to the proper resolution. But it works well, as you can see. Um, there's really no perceivable lag that I can see. Uh, like I said, it's maybe just a slight lag where it's not going to be exactly with it. Um, but it works well, and obviously since it is HDMI, the sound will come from the television. So, for instance, if I go to YouTube, type that in. It should play um, the sound. So let me just pick one of my videos just so I don't get any copyright complaints. Alright, so let's play this. And the sound should come out of the television. It doesn't matter who I am. As far as they're concerned, there's there you a go. lock and there's nothing I can do. So it plays just fine if you want to do YouTube, Netflix, whatever. What is up YouTube? Mike here from Techno GI and today I've got kind of an inner... And like I said, the sound comes out of the television. And no issues with this whatsoever. Um, it works as it should, so this is something I can highly recommend. Like I said, I reviewed the first generation and it did not uh, live up to the expectations. It didn't work so well. But this one uh, works well. I think this would be a great scenario if you travel a lot. Even in most hotels now, the TV is most likely a smart television. So the TV should have a USB and a HDMI. So if you want to watch movies, whatever, you're in a hotel, you can just carry your little wireless display adapter, fits in your pocket, and it works well. Um, but really, I mean, that's it. It works as it should. I mean, a good product. I really do recommend it. The only thing I've noticed so far is it does get fairly warm to the touch. Um, like I said, I ran it for two hours straight streaming an HD movie. It got hot, but it still worked. Nothing shut down and nothing... Um, got damaged or too hot. It just seems like it does get fairly warm for what it is. So as always, um, hopefully that helped you out. If you guys have any questions, just leave it in the comments below and I'll try and answer it. Thanks.